Yeah, Bear, the struggles continued for Wentz, right? He's now been held to under 200 yards passing in three of his last four as the Eagles' air attack continues to sputter without Deshaun Jackson. And on Sunday, the story was pressure. Cowboys pressured Wentz on over 35% of the time, forced him to three turnovers, and there's even more bad news for Wentz as Philadelphia's next three games are against the Bears, Bills, and Patriots, right? Now, the schedule does get much better after that, but if Wentz is your quarterback, you should probably explore some streaming options for the next few weeks, at least until Deshaun Jackson comes back. All right, Bear, who's next? Yeah, I'll tell you what, this Matthew Berry is so dumb. <coughs> I said Matthew Berry is so dumb. How dumb is he? <laughs> All right, there we go. He's so dumb, he had Kyler Murray on the love list. I guess he loves it when your fantasy team comes in last place. Buzzing! <laughs> Seven fantasy points? What the follically challenged host just happened? <laughs> yeah, Bear certainly didn't work out, but honestly, to me, this one just feels a little bit like bad luck, right? Murray threw only 21 passes that the Cardinals ran it 38 times, including three 20 yard touchdown runs from Chase Edmonds. And with David Johnson relegated to the sidelines, Arizona's passing game was obviously far less effective. I'm not worried about Kyler Murray going forward. He's still going to be a top 10 quarterback play most weeks, okay? Patience on Kyler Murray. All right, Bear, who's next? Speaking of Barry's love list, he also had some guy named Evan Ingram on it, and he had a whopping 1.6 fantasy points. That column is getting as useless as Barry's toothbrush. Ha <laughs> ha, What the fetid breath just happened? <laughs> like, like, you eat out of a dumpster, and you're, kill you're killing me on my breath? What are you talking about? Eh, fine, I think the Bear's making some stuff up, but... In terms of Evan Ingram, a couple things went wrong here. For starters, Daniel Jones was under pressure over 42% of the time on Sunday. That's the highest rate of any quarterback in Week 7 so far. Hard to connect on plays down the field when you got no time to throw, right? It's hard to throw when you're on your back. Ingram also got banged up and left the game for a bit, which explains why Rhett Ellison found the end zone. Hey, if Ingram gets that touchdown, his day looks a lot better. It's obviously very frustrating performance in what was a plum matchup. It's a little bit of a head scratcher, but... Don't worry about Ingram. Keep starting your tight ends against Arizona and keep rolling Evan Ingram out there. All right, Bear, who's next? Mark Andrews, 5.9 fantasy points. On your mark, get set, stink. Ha <laughs> ha, buzzing. All right, they can't all be winners, folks. Some jokes I just refer to as berries. Ha <laughs> ha, what the frightful fantasy advice just happened? <laughs> Literally, you're phoning in the jokes now. Like, you don't even have anything. Fine, fine, Bear. Look, Mark Andrews just... Just had a really bad game. He was officially credited with two drops, but it sure looked like more than that, and that included a touchdown. His role remains the same. He saw twice as many targets as any other Ravens pass catcher on Sunday. He was targeted on over 53% of his routes. We know Lamar Jackson is an MVP candidate. Look, they're on a bye this week, but Mark Andrews remains a top five fantasy tight end going forward. Again, just bad day at the office for Mark Andrews. You're familiar with those, aren't you, Barry? You pretty much have them every day. Who's next? Hey, everybody, did you guys see uh, Barry's favorite receiver? What's his name? Terry McLaurin? It's more like Terry McHugh stink at football, and it doesn't matter what stadium you play in or what the weather conditions are or uh, who the quarterback is or, uh, yeah. Buzzing? Uh, what? It was, it's a, all right, all right. What the favorite football team just happened? Doesn't even make sense, Bear. Doesn't even make sense. Like, whatever. Like, at some point, you got to just start trying in these uh, segments. But I will say this, right? It's pretty obvious. Between playing in a monsoon and facing a dominant 49ers defense, McLaurin never had a chance. I mean, Case Keenum completed just nine passes this one. Only one Washington pass catcher had more than 18 yards. Just, you got to throw this game out altogether. McLaurin back in the flex conversation with the Redskins take on the Vikings in Minnesota on Thursday night, a game in which they will have to throw and have better conditions in which to do so. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. Remember to download the free ESPN Fantasy app. And for streaming sports and premium content like the Fantasy Show, be sure to subscribe to ESPN+.